When we perform these digital logic operations in superposition, we create a lot of entanglement, and if we perform a measurement at that point in our circuit, we're going to get some random answers because of this entanglement. We can't just throw away um, some kind of garbage qubits that we don't want because they are entangled with the qubits that have the answer encoded within them. So to fix this, there is a technique called uncomputation. And we're going to do a simple example to see how that works. So we had our controlled knot that um, took the XOR of X and Y. And then we had the control control knot, which allowed us to do an AND gate. And we can have a controlled 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 knot. Um, sounds complicated, but it's easy enough to draw with these circuits. So that performs a AND between three Boolean variables, and it looks like this. So the bottom qubit gets flipped if and only if all three of the top qubits are one. And it doesn't do anything to those control qubits. So we have something like this. This is the control, 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 not. It doesn't have a name like the Toffoli gate, so it's not named after anyone. Um, I don't know, maybe you can name it after yourself. Um, well, the question is, can we perform this gate with only Toffoli gates? So this is an interaction between four qubits. The question becomes, can we perform the same operation with interactions of only three, maybe, maybe two qubits, but let's do it three. The answer is yes. However, we need another qubit. How it works is quite simple. So we can only interact with three qubits at a time. So if the first two qubits are in the one state, then we can store that knowledge in a scratch qubit. And then we want to know if those two are in the one state and Z is in the one state, then we need to flip the qubit in this fourth register. So how do we know if that one, the bottom qubit is in the one state? We control on that one and Z. And this will produce if x, y, and z are 1. This will change that second from the bottom qubit to 1 from 0. And if, I've any, if any of these are 0, then nothing will happen to that, that target qubit. So here we have x and y and z. And we can see that we're not changing the bit values of these qubits. However, we see something interesting. So the bottom qubit is not left in the zero state. We've performed a CC naught or Toffoli on the first, the second, and the bottom qubit. So that qubit is left in the state y, x, and y. And this we don't want and is technically called garbage. So we, we don't care what state that qubit is in. However, there's a problem in that if I want to perform this circuit in superposition, then my data and my output is going to be entangled with that garbage. So I can't just throw out the garbage because I'm throwing out information. So I need a way to uh, return that garbage state to its original state. And one way that we can do that is just undo that Toffoli that we had just done. Okay? And so we want the inverse of the Toffoli, which is the Toffoli. So if we put this gate here, then we see that, uh, that we've inverted the action. We haven't changed the first and the second qubit, and we've returned that original qubit, um, the original kind of garbage qubit, to 
its original state. And now we have the data and the output um, alone, just as in the original CCC not gate. Um, so it required this extra, this extra qubit to do, and it created some entanglement with that qubit. However, we could undo that to save ourselves from this garbage.